Hello everyone, Angela O'Hare here, your favorite Las Vegas realtor and her sidekick, Damien. Yes, and today we are over here in a brand new TriPoint Homes community called Citrine, Citrine, Citrine. It's right next to Sky Canyon, but is not part of Sky Canyon. And they have four different floor plans to choose from. And they also have one single story floor plan, which is pretty cool. In the near future, they will be opening up some townhomes, but not just yet. Maybe in January, February is what the sales rep said. Anyway, so we're gonna take a tour of the plan four, which is the largest floor plan in this community at 35, 39 square feet with four or five bedrooms and a loft if possible, two and a half to three baths and a two bay garage. Now the base price here is 630 and that's just the base price because of the elevation. There are three different elevations. Depending on the style, this is more, you can't really see because of the positioning, the Spanish modern, the mid-century modern, and then the contemporary, which is the flat roof. Um, so each elevation is a little more, okay? Um, so this community just recently opened up. They are gonna have 82 home sites and all the homes, look how wide this is. Yeah. Very nice. Like all the homes are right now move and ready homes that are available. They just released their first phase and all options have been selected. Look how tall the ceilings are. They will be releasing another phase very soon and those will be available to close in January. So right now they're still on phase one and they have um, all the options have been selected by the TriPoint design team. So they're very nice. So what I'm getting at is because the base price is 630, doesn't mean that's what the price is currently because you got to factor in the upgrades and the lot premium mm -hmm. that has been selected. So when you walk in, you have this fifth bedroom downstairs and can be five bedrooms plus a loft. I don't know, okay, fifth bedroom in lieu of flex space. So this could be a flex space or the fifth bedroom. They made it, where, wow, look at those towels. Target. Target. Yeah, those towels. <laughs> uh, at least the only upgrade they put here is the black mat um, with the generic tub the shower. shower. Yeah. Um, and then this looks like a chocolate. I don't like the dark cabinets. And then the Petrofina, which is a quartz kind of countertop. Um, and then you have this downstairs bedroom, which is actually a good size bedroom. Wow, this is big. Yeah. So, you know, homes that have bedrooms on the first floor tend to sell very well because it's in high demand. A lot of people like having bedrooms downstairs. Um, so there are no SIDS in this community or LITs. And the monthly HOA is $69 a month. It is a gated community. And they will have a pool, park, and dog park. So we'll just do a quick little pan. Boop. And then we'll go to here, which is the garage we can't open. I don't like brown cabinets. Oh. And the hall closet, and then a half bath here. Okay. So. The upgraded options in here are the fireplace, the 15-foot double slider. Um, yeah, that's an upgrade too, but um, for options aspect. Okay, good. Okay, so I've been getting lots of calls. Now, this is an extra long island. I would say this is probably at least 10 feet, would you? Easy. Easy. I don't, I guess this comes standard, this length. Because mine is about nine feet. Mm -hmm. This feels a lot bigger. So this could be 11, 12 feet, actually. Um, the only thing I don't like, and that's just my personal opinion and my style, is I don't like chocolate anything, especially these cabinets. And I don't know why they didn't put the soft clothes on the models. They did do the quartz countertops and they did it as the backsplash. Um, they have, this is probably more of a traditional look to me. They have the rounded edge single basin um, sink. And then of course they have that there. Uh, what appliances, they have the cafe appliances. Now each home will have a different appliance package. So 
Obviously, since this is an upgraded appliance package, it's going to be more money. Um, but this kitchen's a great size. Again, I don't like having the microwave like this. I think it's a weird bump out. Um, I think they should have put it either on the island, which would have been perfect. Yeah, there's plenty of room. Oh, but I like how they did the drawers right here. This is great. Yeah. Up all the way down. Yep. Too. So much better than cabinets on the bottom. So that's it. Oh, this is a good size pantry. What else? What else? What else? I think I covered everything. Let's look over here. It's a good size living room or great room. It's huge. Maybe too huge. Because you have to sit all the way here to see the TV. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good size. Let me pan. You in the front row. Let's go look at the backyard first this time. Oh. Ooh, I like this um, outside unit. This is very nice. I like this, babe. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so I like that pillow too, that green pillow. So normally I think the pre-wire for the ceiling fan is right there and that's extra. And then the puck lights are extra, I do believe. But this is cute. I like how they do that horizontal slats. Oh my God. Can you take a picture of that? Yeah. That's like a, that would be cool to do in our yard. Don't like you think? Too, yeah. yeah, we'll take a picture of that whole like thing. Very cute. Always getting inspiration. This was gets me in trouble looking at model homes. Nice long side yard. Even the house is brown. Why would they use brown? <laughs> brown is outdated. But I do like this couch for our backyard. Looks like they have two AC units. That is beautiful. Okay, let's go take a look upstairs. Looks like they have a nice loft. Nice entry, tall ceilings. Whew. My workout for today. Okay. So you have the loft right there. Oh, okay, this looks like the primary. They have the laundry room. This is cute. Now, when you buy a new construction home, typically the refrigerator and washer and dryer do not come with the home. And these cabinets are an upgrade with the sink. So depending on what was selected from the move and ready homes, again, they'll be ready by right after Christmas. Oh, can't wait to look at that one. Yeah. So this is what the community is going to look like. Love those mountains. A little higher up up here too. Yep. I love that backyard. That's like, you know, with the grass, the pavers, it's kind of cute. Mm -hmm. um, this is a very good sized primary bedroom. And this is the only bathroom that we've seen that's designed. <laughs> Everything else has the generic tub shower. So this is the spa-like shower that's extra. But it has the separate vanities, one here and one here, which is okay, I don't mind that. Mm, yeah. And then you have your toilet area separated. It's a good size uh, primary bathroom, don't you think? I do. Nice linen closet. I think I like how this is on the end too, so. Yeah. It's good. I would cut that in half That's though weird. and get a tub. Yep, you have to put a cabinet or something there. Because normally it would be the tub shower combination. Ah, that's why. But since they made this into the spa shower with the rain head, 
then, and that's interesting, they have the opening right there. Oh, now this is a good size closet. Jesus, this was the size of a bedroom. Yeah, it is the size of a bedroom. Um, you'll get this little section right here. No. <laughs> <laughs> I get this spot right here. You know what? After we did our custom closets, I will never do these old school closets ever again. It's night and day. Yeah, it's night and day. So much better. Yeah. Alrighty, so to summarize, we're over here at Citrine. This is plan four at 3539 square feet, four to five bedrooms. And so wait, we're not done. Why am I summarizing? Sorry, disregard that. <laughs> Let's go take a look at these bedrooms and then the loft. All right, so there's one, two, three, four, and then the one downstairs is five. Or it could be four bedrooms, a loft, and a flex space. So this is modeled as five bedrooms. Good size room. So this is only a couple hundred square feet bigger than our house now. Mm -hmm. Room is a good size though. Good size room again. Love those windows. Those rectangular windows. Yeah. Mighty robot. And then I like these evil eyes, but they're green instead of blue. So they did an upgraded tile in here at least. This is an interesting tile that they put the stack tile on. The double vanity. And then they use the generic tub shower insert, but use the upgraded black matte hardware. And here's the last bedroom. Yeah, I'm impressed with the bedroom sizes, mm -hmm. especially with a five bedroom house. Even the downstairs bedroom, oh, Goonies, was a uh, pretty good size. Decent size. And the loft is good size too. This is a very nice loft. Love it. It's so big, it's like a movie room and an office. I wouldn't know what to do with this. This is too big for us now. This is a great social spot up here. Yeah, but this is a perfect family home. All right, let's start over. So, so to summarize, <laughs> this is plan four at 35, 39 square feet with four to five bedrooms three and a half, or sorry, two and a half to three bathrooms and a two car garage. Base price starting at 630. Now, the only options you have are move and ready homes, so that price is gonna be slightly higher. Um, there are no SIDS or LIDS and the monthly HOA is $69. It's a gated community with a pool, park, and dog park. Whew. <laughs> Mouthful. So, if you are thinking about buying in this community and you want to check out the model homes, you need to call me right away. 702-370-5112. Because if you come here without me and register, I will not be able to represent you anymore. And the reason you need me on your very first visit is because, um... Well, you're free. Yes. And you're an expert. Yes. But it's best to have someone here to help negotiate for you, with you, and on your side, um, I'm free. So don't come here by yourself, bring me. <laughs> <laughs> I sell a lot of new construction and I sell a lot of tri-point homes, especially. Um, it's very important. Let me know in the comments what you think of this floor plan and make sure you hit that like, but most importantly, subscribe because I am trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Peace out, guys.